Um, do I just do it anyway for the memes? Yeah, let's just do it for the memes. Why not? Let's just do it. I think there are many ways you can play. You can play E6, Knight E7, Knight G6. You can play D6. I'm going to play the line that I played when I was like 1600, which is D6 and Knight F6 and like E6, I think. I think Knight F6 is bad here because of E5. So you play... Actually, wait, you can just take with the pawns. No, it's not. So let's go here. White castles. And I think you're supposed to play E6, if I remember correctly, because E5 here you just take. And if takes, you just take. He does it anyway? Or is this bad? Oh, is this bad? He is Knight B5. Oh, I oh my gosh. I blundered in the... Oh my gosh. I blundered. There was a reason you're supposed to play E6 first. Oh, great. I'm going to try to survive this somehow. It's probably going to work. Oh, he doesn't... Knight B5, I think, was winning for white. He missed it. He missed it. Okay, let's go A6 and stop Knight B5. Now I think I'm winning. I blunder. I blundered. Like I remember when I was like 1500. I, I always thought you. I always know. I was told you play E6 here, and I was like, now lazy old lazy bones old me. I'm just like, oh, I can just take it with a pawn and I'm fine. Um, but luckily he didn't play Knight B5 because Knight B5 was winning for white there. So yeah, we keep going. You can play E6 next move, and it's all good. I think I should just be up a pawn in a, a late middle game, maybe end game. I think knight d7 is good. Maybe knight c6. Yeah, I think I try to trade and just get my knight to the center of the board here. Yeah, I'll play e6 next game and, and not blunder. Okay, I think I just go here and develop. I'm actually up a pawn, but it's not it's not fabulous, to put it mildly. I can castle. I think now I can go knight d5. Uh, I have to be careful. Let's just do it anyway. I'm going to castle and play like rook a7 maybe. Or I blundered. Goes bishop c5. I think I'm going to check. Let's go here. Yeah, I play Sicilian a lot. No, I mean, the thing is like the Sicilian, this, it's very dangerous. It's a very dangerous line to face um, if you don't know what you're doing. No target now. I'm going to go h5, maybe h4. I can play h4. I can also just... Um, wait, h4. It's a move, but I don't love it, so I'm just going to move my bishop out here. Isn't... Oh, it's a, it's not a really a free pawn, I guess, because he has this. I can also go just bishop e8, maybe? Oh, then g5. I have to be very careful here. I'm just gonna take. I think I'm actually gonna gambit material here. Let's go back. Takes. I think I take with the rook. I have two pawns. I have I have two pawns and a bishop for his rook. Should be okay. It's. I think that's. I'm gonna take this way to open up scope for the bishop, so the knight doesn't dominate my pony anymore. And now I should be fine, cause he, cause my op is is loose. Let's go check go here i want to go d4 d3 and just play with the um the pawns i have d4 d3 d2 and i think this this should be winning why did white castle long because it was an end game and there are no no queens on the board thank you calfi for the tier one thank you so much play d3 here if i want to i think i can actually just go i can still go d actually i just go d3 and bishop g5 to hit the rook i can reroute the other way too let's target the rook here let's keep the op on the long diagonal very important let's go d2 oh he's got knight b3 maybe i check I blundered. Okay, let's go. I can go rook d5. I think I'm just going to go back. I think I go here and bishop e4. Wow. 
Wow, I did misplay this. Rook, rook a1, very nice move by Pranav. Um, oh, whatever, let's just go back and draw the... Oh, I, I have no time, I just realized. Wait, I've got no time. What am I doing? Oh, I had bishop e3. Go here. Checkmate, we keep going. Okay, so this time I get white, so I'll take. I'm gonna play, um, no, he played very well. See, now this is the thing, like you have an E pawn to cut the diagonal, which is why this is considered dubious. Like with a C pawn, you can't, if it's like the Danish, you, you can't cut the diagonal, whereas here you can blunt the diagonal, so the bishop isn't great. I still put the bishop here, but it's much different with this pawn on C7 versus E versus E7, because you can just blunt it. Let's go here on bishop B3. I don't even, uh, this, there are a lot of, because I don't play this, uh, I'm not super familiar with it. I'm assuming I'm playing this correctly. I know you're supposed to play knight d5 at some point. Pretty cool concept starting with an opening already. Yeah, thank you to Logic Gate for the 300 bits. Thank you so much. It's really quite cool, but you have to get it right. Like, we tried to do it with the Evans Gambit, and it was a complete kerfuffle. Um, Mark Esserman would play knight d5 here, but I'm not Mark Esserman. I don't play this opening anywhere near as well as he does. So, um, do I just do it anyway for the memes? Yeah, let's just do it for the memes. Why not? Let's just do it. This guy has a Ugandan flag. Must be a force in by a Vivon, Vivon. Let's take with the pawn. I'm going to go d6 and like knight g5 maybe. I'm just going to gambit it. Probably just terrible actually. Let's go here. Probably is just absolute rubbish by me, by the way. I think I'm just losing. Let's go here, maybe rook c1, maybe bishop c3 at some moment. 23rd, yeah, d d has XQC beaten his record or not? I haven't been following that lately. Not yet, okay. Of course not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was going to say, that's really close, isn't it? That's, like, so close timing-wise. Let's go here. It's absolute trash, but whatever. I have rookie one, maybe. Some kind of gambit. A lot of ideas, at least. Just take. Let's target the knight here. Oh, I, oh, wow. I just blundered that. Whoops. I just blundered that. I didn't even see the bishop was hanging. Let's just take and play knight f3 and bishop c4 here. Thank you to Lucy Snow for the prime. Thanks so much to Lucy Snow. Appreciate it. No, no, I'm, com I'm completely fine, you guys. I, I will say, the, the one thing I will say um, is... I've gotten used to a lot of this over the years, is, is, is all I'm going to say. So, you know, it can, it can be rough at times, but, um, you know, I, there there comes a point when, like, like it's just like, you, you, you really, you get tired of it all. Okay, I'm going to play rookie one, maybe knight d5 next move as well. I get a lot of drama and politics in the offside. Come here and get away from it. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I actually, I, I abhor politics. It's politics is ridiculous these days. Let's play knight d5 here. To be honest, I don't get why Hanson would talk it out in private. Yeah, I mean, I, the, like I said, the, the only thing I will say is that there have been no private conversations. We could very easily just dump into a Discord call. Um, but hey, if drama is drama, you know, it's. I guess that's a part of part of the world we live in these days, and it's going to be what it's going to be. Let's go bishop g5 here. You can just take with the pawn. Uh, play bishop f1, maybe b4 next move. Uh, plays b5. That looks a little bit dubious. I'm just going to go back and maybe take next move. I don't know if this is actually good. It does not look right, but I'm going to keep doing it. I can just take, I can play rook c1. I can also go a4, a5 here, but I'm, it's just a bad opening. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm playing. It's just a bad opening. Let's go rook c1. I'm trying to find some way to like prove that I'm better, but I'm really not having much success here. Just take, I mean, this is probably terrible for me, but I'm trying to create some kind of weird, I'm trying to do something here. I don't know. Maybe just, let's go here. The thing for black is black can't get the king out of the middle of the board. So there actually is some serious risk here. And take the pawn. Just take the pawn here. We get a rube for the four months. I had Oreo for the prime. Nitrovity for the prime. Thank you so much. Uh, I have knight d4 back. I can maybe even sack. No, that's a little, I'm a little bit, I'm being a little bit too bull. Oh, I work C7? Wow, I have to do it just because if this works, it's a beautiful tactic. Knight C7, I take, oh, well, that's a bummer because now I think he's just, should be much worse, although, because of Knight E6, maybe I've, ah, I've checked maybe. Yeah, I think his king is too open here. Isn't that just, that's just a blunder. Now we win the game. Let's just take the knight. Let's take the rook. You can play queen b6 here and bishop to a6, and it should be completely fine for me. I don't really see any, any big issues here. Of course, I just take and take, and this is game over. <laughs> ben Feingel says you should never play f6, and Levy just made a video dedicated to playing f6 against the London system. You know... <clears throat> I, I think I think what I would say um, uh, in in regards to um, in regards to that is like the, that's really the trick. Like what Ben says about not playing F six, he's he's not wrong. Playing F three and F six generally is not what you want to do. Like at, at a beginner level, even intermediate, frankly, I would say you don't ever want to play it, play it. But like being, when you get to like a grandmaster level, there are all like IMGM level, there always are exceptions to the rule, and that's what makes chess so tricky because you kind of you learn when to violate the rules, but. Um, objectively, Ben is correct. You you do not want to play F six or F three or F six in the opening. It's not um it's not good. Okay, let's just castle. Bishop B five kind of loses the thread because White's down a pawn. If White wasn't down a pawn, this would be completely reasonable. But it's kind of trading down material, trading down material when you're down. Um, let's take and, and go go Bishop uh, Bishop E seven. This is not Hikaru's PewDiePie after quarantine. Yeah. Uh, I can play F5. I can even just trade, I guess. I can play Rook B8. I mean, this should just be good for me. I'm up a pawn here in an endgame with two bishops versus two knights. It's not great because I have a weak pawn. But I figure I should be able to outskill him here in this endgame. Although, he does find Rook C3, which is a... I really would like to win this some other way than some long endgame. Not sure. And play rook b8 here, um, but whatever, let's just do it. Let's take, I have rook d5, I have rook b8 here to hit the pawn. Actually, if he pushes, he just gets, gets skewered on the diagonal. Hot take, the real value of each piece is never static and completely dependent on the position of the board. That's not a hot take, that's actually reality. It's like, in this position, the knight is absolutely worthless. Um, like, say, say this knight was a bishop and you could put the bishop here, white would be doing okay. But because it's a knight, it's absolutely worthless. It's worth nothing. I mean, you just lose the game here. So it's very, it's very, um, it's very kind of, it's it's hard. Peace, peace values are never static, for sure. Let's go rook d2, rook c2, I guess. Let's go here. 
Unless you're Bobby Fischer. Okay, well, that's one way of looking at it. Just missed the meet in five in my game. Feeling good? Uh, it happens. It happens. What do I think about the GM title requirements? Do you think they truly reflect the title? Absolutely, I do. I think how many got your... Okay, this is not how you play a Smith Mora. Um, I think my opponent is confusing this with kind of the... the pawn to king four pawn to king five were black with like the danish type line so here this is really bad because now the bishop gets out my knight gets out and i just castle and i should just be much much better here just go here you need to uh a green gold for the five get the subs thank you so much for a green gold appreciate it thank you so much man thank you play d5 and takes Do you think Magnus' opponents face different psychological pressure when playing against him? Of course. I mean, there's the Magnus effect, obviously. Everybody has it. Okay, let's take with the pawn. I have d4. I'm just up a pawn. Should be very, very pleasant for me here. I need a Shadow King Farouk for the three months. I need a Bejulet for the prime. I'm going to go here. I don't know if it's really necessary, but I figure I'd rather keep the two bishops on the board here than not. Need a prison wallet for the five gifted. Thank you so much. Prison wallet. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Just castle play f6 and knight of five here. And good knight of five. Let's play f6 and knight of five. Next move. Five more lemons. Yeah. Who is the car about Magnus's Kasparov? <laughs> I mean, the thing is, Magnus took the title from Anon. So, like, you can't really say Anon would be Karpov, I guess. In a, in a way, it is like that, but it wasn't as competitive. I mean, honestly. If he didn't collapse in every like really important tournament like the candidates, I would say Levon would be would be the car pop. But the thing is, Levon, anytime he's been in the candidates tournament, he's folded. Um, he's folded in the pressures and he's cracked under the pressure. So I don't I don't really know. I mean, I, I want to say it's going to be Fabiano at some point, but I, I don't know. So let's just take and go ninety three here. We need a patty or p4 tty for the prime thank you so much appreciate it let's just um take and take the rook and it should be pretty good here just take play rook b8 i also can go d4 i'm just gonna play queen e7 and hit e1 here maybe there's a check what is something in otb terms they don't tell you about the rules <laughs> um do you just mean in general I, I think it's like you don't realize just how intense it is when everyone's like super quiet and and you're just playing and it's like it's it's really nerve-wracking thank you to camera for the prime thank you so much appreciate it let's play queen b4 here i can also take and play queen b4 let's hit the pawns let's go rook b8 hit the pawn on b2 hit the queen hit the pawn on f4 I think I go rook c8, hit the knight. I can go queen e4 next move and hit the knight. I mean, this is completely fine. What's the biggest crowd you found in OTB uh, over the board of game of yours? Watch. Um, I think it was Juniper July for the five. I mean, the, the biggest amount, it's not, not much. Maybe, maybe like 100 people. I, it's just not the same. It really isn't. Okay, let's just take the pawn on C3. Tata still India might be up there. There's probably that or there's probably a tournament in Russia. Something like that. Let's go knight f3 here and castles, I guess. What do you think of Kyrie Irving's media comment? I don't talk to pawns. And what about Gary's response? I actually have no idea what that means. Let's go here. Maybe I go rook d. Uh, he's trying to get some knighty. Oh my gosh, I just blundered. I had to go g3 there. What am I doing? Chessosaurus shirts? I don't know. Oh, you you mean because of the um the thing? Uh, I know what you mean. So he goes 95 and very lucky because I was just lost. Let's just take and go here. Let's play bishop f4 and rook c1 here. I think I just go rook c1. I have knight d5, knight b5 here. 
can also play bishop a4. I can also take and go bishop a4. Um, I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go check, takes, takes, and some queen d3. Maybe to go for a checkmate. Let's take and take. This might not work, but I'm going to go for it. Let's go a4. I want to go like queen e3 or something. Some kind of like, some kind of square box here in the middle of the board. What do I think about companies like Alibaba, Doi, who, uh, Baidu, Baba appears to be very cheap now, along with other Chinese companies with their serious fears of delisting. I mean, I, I don't know. I have real, I don't really have any opinion on that. Uh, honestly, I mean, I just don't. How do I do this? King f7 is a big problem here. Oh wait, no, King f7 is not a problem because I have rook d8. So let's just go h4 and rook d8 here. Maybe I should have gone queen c4 to go queen c7. Probably better. Okay, it goes over anyway. So I go rook d8. Again, five pieces on, on the back rank, no development. I mean, I've got great development with my rooks. My bishop is awesome. My queen is awesome. Should be very, very good. Can play queen c4, queen c7 even. I really do like my position here. It looks pretty good. I think Kunila for the three of I read about Archegos, Bill Huang, or Bill, Bill. Yeah, I read about the Archegos, or however you pronounce the situation recently. I know it's it's kind of weird to me. I think I go here to hit the rook. I also have a check. And now I collect the bishop. It's just amazing that people, if you're if you're big enough, you get like you can take out huge um huge margin. Like I thought there were just flat out rules on that, but I don't know. Like, I, I thought there was regulation. Like, I thought Reg T just... I thought Reg T applied to everybody, but maybe not. Like, how, how does Reg T... Why does Reg T apply to the average Joe, but it doesn't apply to a hedge fund? I never understood that. Thank you, Lom Dragon, for the Prime. Thank you so much. And those of you who are wondering, Reg T is obviously a financial regulation related to the amount of, of leverage you're allowed to take out relative to your uh, your balance. The, the amount of money you have invested. So, Queen D2. Queen g5, I have queen d7 next move as well. Queen d7. Okay, yeah, I go check and rook c6, and this is just winning. I hit the pawn, I hit the queen here. If Bobby Fischer had stuck around, do you think he would have kept the world championship title for 25 years? No, I don't actually. Um, he was levered 5x, okay. Oh, he was levered 5x, 100 billion of exposure on 20 billion net worth. It doesn't apply to him because he got margin leverage through swaps. Okay. So, like, the financial weapons, uh, the financial weapons of mass destruction. Hmm. I'm going to play the same line. I haven't gotten a bad, really bad position out of the opening yet, so I'm going to keep doing it. I think Invictus for the tier 1. Thank you so much. Let's go here. Let's go knight f6 and bishop e7. Okay, should be fine here. I don't think... I know bishop f4 was always the right move. He goes there... Kind of interesting. I guess I just take. I have a6 at some point. It, it looks pretty good. This is definitely wrong because now I go e5. I need a hairy bum for the prime as well. I, actually, finance is one thing I have not looked at all day. Let me see. Let's go bishop g4. Bishop e6 is actually completely fine too. Do I have a university degree? No, I do not. Um, I dropped out. So it looked like pretty flat dish. Certain things down, certain things up. Yeah. Okay, let's just castle here. Take, take the bishop here. It's already 30 minutes in. Yeah, we're, we're pretty far in. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's go queen e8 here, maybe rook d8. Clock, yeah, yeah, no, I know there's a clock. Let's go a6, stop, knight b5, so I can play d5 or queen f7 at some point as well. Why, when you play bull, is more reflexing? Yeah, totally. That's what bull's all about. Let's go here, maybe d5, d4 next move. Let's go rook d8. I can play d5. I can also just play rook d7 and then d5 as well. Uh, I think d5 and just takes is fine here. Should be good. I'm up a pawn. I have a huge center here. Let's go e4. Let's go e4. Let's go bishop d6. Right, I'm considering shorting Jemmy hard. Yeah, the problem though is if you're talking direct shorting, I, I mean, it's just it's too risky. Let's go uh let's let's go i have knight g4 i'm just gonna go here though for now lots of jams probably think they should be worshipped by the common chess player yeah that's true actually that's one of the biggest problems with chess one of the biggest problems with chess is that your perception of reality can get very very warped um without a doubt that's that's the biggest uh i think that's the biggest danger i would say let's take and go queen h5 and take because like if you're a grandmaster in the chess world you tend to get worshipped in the chess world um for being so good at the game but like in reality that doesn't make you any more special than anybody else um actually not, not that you know i mean maybe you could say tom tom brady is special for sure um can i go for a check i'm gonna go for mate with knight g4 and queen h2 um but i don't have checkmate i do however have queen g3 luckily although this okay i guess i just take and go queen g1 I can go rook f7. I can also just take. Do I have some trick with e3? Not really. Let's just go here. <laughs> Tom Brady kisses his kids too much. Anyway, you got my point, though, I think. It goes rook f5. I want to go knight e5 and just, like, knight f3 or something. Try to Try to mix it up here. I thought I had knight f3. Do I have knight d3? This is getting weird. There are like too many pieces around everything here. Oh, that's a fork though, however. My, my, my man is losing his queen. He lost his queen. They need external Madeira for the two months. They have so much external Madeira. They need a 1c Serpent for the prime. Let's take and take. Let's go here. Let's go check. Choose our ponies. Let's make another check. Let's go check. Let's use the pony. They have Jerry for the tier one thing. So much appreciate it. Let's go here. Let's go queen f5. Take the knight. Wait, what am I doing? Thank you to Hot Peanuts for the Prime. Thank you so much, Hot Peanuts. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's take again. I'm not getting good positions. I must be doing something wrong, though, in this opening with white. I'm getting great positions with black, though. And I'm getting bad positions with white. I don't know if Castle's right, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, he plays 97. This is supposed to be the refutation or the reason that it's not really a playable opening, from what I remember. So I'm going to try something different with Bishop G3. And go E5. I mean... Let's just do it. I don't know if it's right. Let's just do it. Doesn't even work, though. Oh, you can just ignore it, I guess. Hmm. Let's go here, maybe rookie one, rookie one. Uh, I can play rook d1. I actually kind of want to keep the bishop on a better diagonal, so I'll go d3. I think rook d1 is a good move. I also have rook e1. I also have knight e5 here. I think there's a lot of pressure, potentially. There's also pressure on f7, too. I think Clenitz for the 500 bit. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I think I just take, and I just take. 
Awesome name of your opponent, Idiot in Disguise. Yes, very nice username. Can I go for a patented Rook Lift? I am going to go for it now. Rook D3, Rook H3, and try to checkmate him, basically. What's funny is I studied the uh, Smith Moore for months, and now I completely forgot about it. <laughs> Yeah. Why were we all wearing yellow? It was sort of a meme. It was a meme. I think I can still go like... Maybe I go... Let's just bring the juicer back. Let's target everything. I can still go Rook G3. I think I should. Target the pawn. I take... Because he's going to get... He's going to lose material. I just take... Two Rooks. Queen H5. And now I go check and mate. Okay, let's keep going. Next game. Okay, let's just take the take the pawn. Let's go here. Let's go bishop c4. Let's castle. I think you almost you universally play this setup. But the thing is, bishop c5, I'm not familiar with, so I'm gonna play e5 knight e4. This may work, maybe it won't work. <laughs> Do you want to collab on SoundCloud? I got bars. I think I castle. This actually does not look great for me. Maybe I should have gone Bishop B5 right away. A6, which actually is not a great move because now I get a great, great knight on D6, which is which is posted up by the pawn on E5. Let's go here and hit the pawn on H7. I'm gonna play rookie one, guard the pawn. Maybe rook c1 next move, put pressure here. I call those knights locked in knights. That's one way of calling them, I guess. Go here. I'm probably gonna go h4, h5 next move. It looks right. Let's go h4. Now, obviously, take, I can also play h5 next move as well. Do I have other moves that make sense? I can go queen f4. I'm going to play h5, though. Maybe h6 next move. Plays h6. I'm going to line up a, a battery on the long diagonal here. He a skill jad for the prime. Thank you so much. Crazy that I saw you in Malibu the other day. Haven't been in Malibu in a while, my man. Sorry, but it was, it was, a, it was an imposter. Just take the pawn and go queen h7 next move. This should just be winning. I just go check. <laughs> Only because of sub mode. <laughs> Very funny, dude. Um, I can play queen h7 and knight e8. And uh, this, is, this is pretty good. Crazy, I saw you in Iowa the other day. Yeah, I actually haven't been to Iowa in a very, very long time. I can go check and check. Go check in queen g7 here. Should be winning. I also have rook d1, which should just be checkmate almost. Yeah, it's just winning here. Hey, Richard Tater for the seven months as well. Let's just take and go mate. Um, 